Hey guys, welcome back. Now we are going to make our craft for the book that we just read. There's a witch in your book. We are going to be making a witchy Halloween countdown. It's a very simple craft, but you can make this craft your own and you can use whatever colors you want. So this is truly just your imagination and how you want to create it. It's very simple though. The only things that you will need will be some, a piece of black construction paper, a piece of green construction paper, some orange construction paper, and I used purple construction paper and lime green construction paper for my little circles that we're going to use for the countdown. But again, you can use whatever colors you want, whatever your favorite colors are. I just chose these colors because I, when I think of Halloween, I think of all these colors. The black construction paper, you are going to need to cut a triangle. This is going to be the top of her hat. And you're going to need to cut a long rectangle. This is going to be the brim of her witch's hat. Okay? So when you get those cut, then we are going to glue the brim onto the hat. So you're going to need a glue stick. We're just gonna put some glue right here. And just glue that right on there. All right, and there's what you should have. You should have your brim glued to the bottom of your hat. Good job. Now, to make the witch's face, I just took a piece of dark green construction paper, kind of drew a circle with a chin on the bottom. You can see it on this side a little bit better, the outline. And then I just drew her with a black marker, two eyes, and a smiling mouth. Because she is so happy that it's almost Halloween. So now what we're gonna do when you get that drew and cut out, you're just going to glue her hat onto the top of her head. So we're gonna take our glue stick, put some glue on the top of her head there. And glue her hat on. Just like that. See that? Because a witch always has a pointy black hat, doesn't she? See there? Now, our witch needs a nose. And they always have a long, pointy nose. So take a piece of your green construction paper. I did green because it'd be the same color as her face. And I just drew a triangle and then just folded the bottom of the triangle to make a little spot there where I can glue. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue that. And we'll glue her nose on. She has a big pointy green nose. See there? Big pointy green nose. All right, now our witch needs some hair. And just like our witch in our book, we are going to make orange hair, because I love orange. And as you can tell, Miss Brandy has on her orange trick or treat shirt today. I really like orange for Halloween, because I love pumpkins. And pumpkins are the color orange. So to make her hair, I just cut out four strips of orange construction paper. Again, you can do whatever color hair you want to and you can do ever how many strips you want to. And then to make it creepy like this, like it is instead of just straight, I just took my straight piece of construction paper 
And I just folded it down one way and then the other way. Forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. And I just kept doing that all the way down to the very end. And then you should look like that. It should be like a little accordion. See that? And that makes her hair look like it's crimped. See that? Now what we're going to do is you can use your glue stick. Or if you have a stapler and you have um, a parent with you that can help you with the stapler, then you can use the stapler to put her hair on. But we're going to use the glue today. So you just want to put some glue at the top of one of your strips of hair and just glue it behind, behind the witch, behind her hat, okay? Got two pieces on. Let's glue another one on right here. Okay, now we got our last piece of hair. Press it down real hard so that that glue sticks. Oh, and look, look at her hair. See there? And there's what it should look like from behind. You've got her hair glued to the back of her hat. All right, now we've got to make our countdown. And how we're gonna do that is, I'm going to take my purple, construction paper, which I've already cut strips out, and my lime green construction paper, which I've already cut strips out of it as well. There is 31 days in the month of October, and Halloween is on October the 31st, the very last day of October. So, between our purple and our green construction paper, or whatever color you chose to do, we need to cut 31 strips. So I did 16 purple and I did 15 green so that they would be even because how we're gonna do it is you're going to take one color and make a circle. Then you're gonna take your other color and make a circle, and you're gonna intertwine them together so that eventually we have a big, long chain of our different colors. And those different colors and those different rings are gonna represent each day, okay? So I've already got one made, and I've started on our second one, okay? Now, to do these, I did use a stapler to put them together, but you can also just use a glue, a glue stick. You just wanna stick your, your one color inside your other color, and where the two ends meet, you either staple, which is how we're gonna do it, or you can use your glue stick and glue it together. But for this purpose, I just found it would be easier and quicker to use a stapler. Okay, so I just did a purple. Now I'm gonna do a green. And now, I'm going to intertwine our last purple. Now, if you'll notice, I created a pattern because I did purple, green, purple, green, purple, green. 
So you can create a pattern using whatever colors that you're using. Do one color, another color, one color, another color. Or you can do one whole chain of one color, one whole chain of your other color. Or if you're using multiple colors, you can make like a rainbow pattern. After we get our chains done, now we have to put them onto our witch. And I'm going to place mine right here behind her cheeks so that they hang all the way down. Okay? So I'm going to take the top end of one of our chains. And again, to make this faster, I'm just going to staple. But you can glue or tape. Okay. So I've got one chain on her. Now we're going to put our other chain on the other side. I got a lot of chains here. All right. So now we have our chains on our witch face. See them there? So when you get this completed, it's going to be very, very long. Because you're going to have 31 rings on your chains. Okay? Can you all see that there? We have our witch's face. And then we have our chains. And we have 31 circles because remember, there's 31 days in October. So we have to have a chain, a link for each day because each day of October, you're going to start from the bottom here and you're going to nip off a day so there's that one and then when the next day comes you're gonna snip off another one and then by the time October the 31st gets here Halloween night you should be down to one ring and then that's when you know that it will be Halloween so I hope that you guys enjoy making this witchy countdown to Halloween. And I hope that you all have fun counting down to Halloween and that you all will stop by the library on Halloween or the day before and see us and pick up a goodie from the library here. Remember, happy Halloween and y'all have a good day. Bye.